So here are the stats after testing fish strap and void strap with the best fast flag settings applied. And honestly, the results are insane. In this video, I'll show you the exact settings I used, side-by-side -side performance tests, and which launcher gives you more FPS, lower ping, and zero stutters after the latest Roblox update. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temp files from PC to boost, speed and FPS. In this first step, we'll clean out all your temporary and cached files, because over time, these leftover files pile up and make your system slower. To start, go to your desktop and press Windows plus R on your keyboard. This will open a small window called Run. In the box, type percent, temp percent, and press Enter. You'll see a folder full of random files and folders. These are all temporary files that different apps and games left behind. Click inside that folder, press Ctrl plus A to select everything, and then press Delete. Don't worry if a few files say they're in use. That's completely normal. Just click skip for those. Next, press Windows plus R again, type Tempe, this time without the percent signs, and press Enter. Select everything again with Ctrl plus A and delete them. If Windows asks for permission, click Continue. Finally, open the Run box one more time, type Prefetch, and press Enter. Once the folder opens, press Ctrl plus A to select everything and hit Delete again. When you're done, Go to your desktop and empty your recycle bin to finish the cleanup. Step 2. Make Roblox use your CPU better with Run with Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that your CPU is fully unlocked, let's make sure Roblox is using all of it properly. We're going to use a small but powerful tool called Run with Affinity. This tool makes Roblox use every CPU thread on your computer every single time you launch it. Open the Run with Affinity tool. Inside it, click the three dots next to the file path to browse for the main Roblox launcher file. You can find it by going to this folder. App Data. Greater than Local, Greater than Roblox, and selecting Roblox Player Launcher.aitxe. Next, go to the Set Affinity section. In the drop-down menu, select the highest number available. This number represents how many CPU threads your system has. Choosing the highest value means Roblox will use all of your CPU power efficiently. In the shortcut name box, type something like High Performance Roblox so you can recognize it later. Under the Run dropdown, choose Maximized, so Roblox always launches in full screen mode. Then click Create Shortcut. This will make a new Roblox shortcut on your desktop that's optimized for performance. From now on, always open Roblox using this shortcut instead of the default launcher. You can even test it instantly by clicking Run Program inside the tool. With this method, Roblox will always use your full CPU power, which means you'll get higher FPS, fewer lag spikes, and smoother gameplay even on older PCS. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS using fish strap and fast flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we're going to use the latest fish strap settings to make Roblox perform better. Go to your fish strap folder and open the fish strap application. This tool helps you adjust deep performance settings that reduce lag and improve FPS while making Roblox run more efficiently. Once Fish Strap is open, let's explore the main features. Integrations. This section is like Block Strap, but with even more features. It includes player logs, so you can see which players join or leave during your session. Super useful if you run games or servers. It even supports Discord presence, so your status shows you're playing Roblox. Bootstrapper. This feature lets you rename Roblox and enable multi-instance loading, which means you can play on two accounts at once. This used to be possible with Blockstrap, but now Fishstrap is more reliable. Deployment. This part manages your updates. It even lets you revert Roblox to an older version using the version hash, helpful if a new update causes lag. Mods section. Here, you can change default sounds, switch to old character models, edit fonts, and manage your fast flags. Fast flags. This section is the most important. It's neatly organized so you can easily use presets or import your own custom flags. One very useful setting here is Disable Roblox Telemetry, which turns off tracking features Roblox runs in the background. Definitely turn this on. Now, to apply the best fast flags, find the fast flag file in your pack, open it, and copy all of the text. Then open Fish Strap as administrator, click Add New, JSON, and paste all the copied text. Click OK. Then, yes, yes again, 
and it will add all your fast flags. Finally, click Save. Rendering and Graphics Settings Scroll down to this section and set Anti-Aliasing Quality to 1, disable Player Shadows, and set Frame Limit to either 0, which uses Roblox's built-in limit, or 99,999 for uncapped FPS. For Rendering Mode, choose either Vulkan or Direct3D 10. Both work well, but Vulkan usually gives better FPS. For texture quality, pick low or level 2 for best performance. Roblox menu. You don't need to change much here, it's already optimized. If you uncheck anything, it'll reset to default, so just leave it as is. Appearance. You can customize your Roblox icon or style if you want. Don't worry if it says downloading, it won't affect your performance. When you load fish strap, it may take a few seconds, but Everything should look the same as before, just faster and smoother. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Boost Roblox. FPS. Using void strap and fast flag settings, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's talk about void strap, the best FPS boosting launcher for Roblox after the new patch. While many other tools broke, Voidstrap still works perfectly and gives you deep control over performance. Start by downloading and installing Voidstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. After installation, search for Voidstrap in your Windows search bar and open it. First, go to the Settings tab. You'll see some options like Player Message Logs. Those aren't critical for FPS, so we'll skip to the Performance Features. Now go to the Deployment tab and enable Multi-Instance Launching. This allows you to open multiple Roblox games at the same time without crashing. Also enable cross-game teleportation, which helps you switch between games faster. Both features make Voidstrap much stronger and smoother than Blockstrap. Then, open the Modifications tab, similar to Blockstrap's Mod Manager. Here you can add mods, enable old sound effects, or apply visual tweaks if you like the old Roblox look. Now comes the most powerful part, the Fast Flag Editor. This is where Voidstrap shines, You'll see green check marks next to active preset flags and red X's for disabled ones. There are also buttons for copy all flags, find flag, and import JSON. Click import JSON, paste your fast flag codes, and press save. These codes help Roblox use your CPU and GPU more efficiently, unlock higher FPS, and reduce lag dramatically. Then go to the fast flag settings tab. Here, you'll find ready-made optimization profiles that automatically lower ping, improve smoothness, and boost FPS instantly. No coding needed. Voidstrap also includes appearance and shortcuts tabs, plus a cool new AI chat feature that explains what each setting does. It's still in beta, but really helpful if you're new. Once you've saved all your settings, close the launcher and start Roblox using Voidstrap. Immediately, you'll notice Roblox feels faster, smoother, and more stable, even in big servers. Right now, Voidstrap is the best and most reliable tool for Roblox optimization after the latest patch. Brain with smoke coming out of it. Step 5. Use Throttle Stop to improve CPU speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. While gaming windows sometimes slows down your CPU to save energy or prevent overheating, but that kills your gaming performance. To fix that, we'll use a tool called Throttle Stop to keep your CPU running fast and stable during Roblox sessions you'll see multiple performance profiles like performance, game, internet, and battery. Select game mode since it's best for Roblox. Then, check the box high performance, which makes your CPU always run at full power. You'll also see some advanced options like clock mode and speed shift. 
don't touch them unless you know what you're doing. Make sure to check Disable Turbo. This helps prevent overheating but keeps strong performance. After that, click Turn On, then Save, so your settings stay applied. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background when you play Roblox. This ensures your CPU stays at maximum speed and prevents lag spikes or FPS drops, especially during long gaming sessions. Step 6. Free up RAM. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is like your computer's short-term memory. When it fills up with leftover data, Roblox can start stuttering or lagging. We'll fix that with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total system memory in megabytes. In the box that says free memory is lower than, type half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes RAM, type 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes RAM, type 8,000. Then check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized, so it runs quietly in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon, so it starts automatically when you turn on your PC. On the right side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0 0.50. Set polling rate to 1000 or 10,000 if your system is low end. Finally, click stop arrow. Start arrow. Purge standby list to clean up all unused memory instantly. Once this is done, Roblox will have more free RAM available, meaning faster loading, higher FPS, and smoother gameplay. If you followed all these steps carefully, Roblox will now run smoother than ever, with higher FPS, lower ping, and faster loading times. You've now fully optimized your PC using both Fishstrap and Voidstrap, and after testing, Voidstrap clearly gives the best FPS and stability after the new Roblox patch.